Hi, my name is Vince. I am the Director of Member Relations for the Automotive Recyclers Association. Uh, we, we've just wrapped up our 76th annual conference and expo in Charlotte, North Carolina. It was a fantastic event. We had over a thousand attendees. Um, uh, go to our Facebook page, Automotive Recyclers Association. I've created two albums there that I want you to look at. One is uh, an album, I think it's just called the uh, 76th Annual Conference and Expo, and there's tons of pictures in there. Uh, there's a couple of videos. Um, we li I live streamed our keynote speaker, uh, retired lieutenant, former Navy SEAL Jason Redman. In if, if whether you're inside the industry or outside, go watch that. Uh, you will be rewarded for it. It's amazing. And then I also live stream a, a panel discussion we did on automotive dismantling. Following that, following the conference, I got the privilege of traveling with a group of re, uh, European uh, recyclers. So we had three guys from England, three guys from Scotland, and two guys from Poland. And we flew from Charlotte to Minneapolis. And for the past few days, we've been touring recycling facilities in Minnesota, South Dakota, and Iowa. So right now I'm, I'm in Iowa, I'm driving to Des Moines to fly home finally. But uh, I've had an absolutely spectacular uh, time. I met some really great guys uh, from another part of the world and, and we had a lot of fun. We had a blast and we toured some amazing recycling facilities. So that's the other reason I want you to go to our Facebook page and look at the second album, which is, that, which is called the um, EU... 2019 EU Recycling Tour. I've got a lot of pictures in there of all the recycling facilities that we toured, and um, especially if you're if you're not in the industry, if you're one of my friends from outside the industry, go look at some of those pictures because it'll absolutely change what you think uh, about recycling yards. Or maybe you don't even know what an automotive recycler is. So I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you two words, and then I want to recalibrate what you think about those two words because uh, it'll be much quicker that way. So junkyard. Right. So, uh, over the past several years, the automotive recycling industry has undergone a massive rebranding to change the way people think about what they do and get away from that, that word junk uh, because they are truly recyclers of automobiles. Um, what they do is they purchase vehicles. Mo many of them are purchased from uh, auction uh, after the insurance companies settle claims. They send them to the auction. They go for sale. And many of them are purchased by these automotive recyclers. And they take these vehicles back to their facilities and they begin to disassemble them. Now, many of the parts they just remove, clean them up, and they make them available for sale so that, uh, so that you as a consumer or the collision repair industry can purchase them to repair cars. But, and that, that is the purest form of recycling. And then uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the recycling facilities do some spectacular work in, uh, they, they recycle the oil they drain out of the cars and heat their buildings. They recycle the fuel that they drain out of the cars and they, they fuel their delivery trucks. Um, they'll recycle the antifreeze, the windshield washer fluid, and they'll bottle it and make it available for sale. And I will tell you that uh, whether you're looking for a used tire, a used headlight, a used motor for your window, or whatever it is, you, you can save up to 50% by, by shopping uh, your, your local uh, automotive recycling yard. Fantastic industry that I don't think a lot, uh, enough people understand how hard they work to make their facilities uh, clean and environmentally safe and, and continue uh, to provide a valuable service for their community and, and, and the uh, repair, repair industry. Now, uh, what, what does the Automotive Recyclers Association do? So we do a lot of work to help educate the industry. We provide training videos, um, but, a lot, but uh, one of the biggest things we do is we work very hard on Capitol Hill to push back against legislation that would make it hard for these businesses to continue. There are some outside influences that don't want uh, recyclers to be able to sell these parts. And that impacts you as a consumer. Um, if, if you've got a car that, uh, th that uh, needs to be repaired and uh, there is a safe uh, recycled part available, uh, then that car repair is going to be far less than if that if that part has to be bought brand new. Now you may be thinking you don't want a used part on your car. Well, the reality is for most of the parts on a car, uh, it, it, it really doesn't make a difference. And if you're driving a car and your car is a year old, you're driving a used car. And these parts that are purchased from the recyclers are 
are originally original manufacturer parts so they're they're made by the manufacturer of your car anyway so they do we do a lot of work to make sure that this industry can do business and serve their community uh, and, and continue to go on this is the most multi-generational industry I have ever seen I visit recycling yards that have second third fourth generation recyclers we were at a facility yesterday that just celebrated their 80th anniversary It's amazing work these people are doing and how they continue to evolve and and, and do what they do so um, I just want to say that uh, you know I've had a great time please go check out those photo albums please consider buying used parts next time you need some parts and uh, and thank you very much